How are you doing? You all right? Good. So did you enjoy your birds night last night? Aye. Aye. Okay. It's lovely here, isn't it? Thanks ever so much for having me. It's quite, it's quite a nice little wooden box they've got here, isn't it? I hope when they put me in my wooden box, there's an audience in the bar as well. <laughs> Have we got people upstairs? Yes. It's all the Scottish people upstairs. Couldn't afford to splash out for a better seat. <clears throat> So they asked me to come along here and give you some burns tonight. I don't mean I'm going to come and hold your head over the naked flames on the, on the table. Um, this, Robert Burns wrote a lot of poems about, about drinking and um, doesn't always have a good ending drinking. <laughs> this is an epitaph to an innkeeper called John Dove. Here lies Johnny Pigeon. What was his religion? Where our desires to ken, to some other world, mourn, follow the carol. For here Johnny Pigeon had name. Strong ale was ablution, small beer persecution, a dram was memento mori. But a full flowing bowl was the saving his soul, and port was celestial glory. <laughs> Uh, my name's Champagne Charlie. Just I'd like you to raise your glasses and cry, Champagne! Champagne! That's more like it. We're going to have a party atmosphere going down here. Okay, we've got some fabulous words up in Scotland for drinking. Most of your words that you use down here for drinking, like bladdered or trollied, those, those, those these words come from Scotland. And uh, we've got things like a wee dram. Everybody knows what a wee dram? Mm -hmm. You know what a wee dram? Yeah, ah, you know what a wee dram is. And uh, do you know a few wee schwallies? Anybody know what a wee schwally is? No. A wee schwally translates to swallow. A good few swallows. That's another one. So you go to a party and you have a good few schwallies. And there's of course my personal favourite, which is a right good willy wart. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an STI. <laughs> that translates into a long, hard slug on your drink. Champagne! Champagne! No churchman am I, for to rail and to write. No statesman or soldier to plot or to fight. No sly man of business contriving a snare, for a big-bellied bottle's the whole of my care. The peer I don't envy, I give him his bow. I scorn not the peasant, though ever so low, but a club of good fellows like those that are here, and a bottle like this are my glory and care. There passes the squire on his brother, his horse, and centum per centum the sit with his purse. But see you the crown as it waves in the air. There, big bellied bottle still eases my care. The wife of my bosom, alas, she did die. For sweet consolation to church I did fly. I found that old Solomon proved it fair that a big bellied bottle's a cure for all care. I once was persuaded a venture to Mac. A letter informed me that all was to wreck, but the pursy old landlord just waddled upstairs. We are glorious bottled, I ended my cares. Life's cares, they are comforts. A maxim laid down by the bard, what do you call him, that wore the black gown. In faith, I agree with the old prig to a hair, that a big bellied bottle's a heaven of care. Then fill up a bumper and mack it all flow. In honours Masonic, prepare for to throw. May every true brother of the compass and square have a big belly bottle when harassed with care. <laughs> Jump in. Yeah. Jump in. Are you looking at my coat? <laughs> she knows I'm a true Scotsman. <laughs> you all had a few wee schwallies then. Okay. A few years ago, um, I was up in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival, and during the day, when I was nursing a hangover, I thought, how can I fill this time? So I went to the records house, and I traced my family history. And I got back to about 15-something, to my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, who apparently was a cattle farmer in Aberdeen, and he made lots and lots of money. So next time you're having an Aberdeen Angus, it could be one of mine. <laughs> And a few generations later on, my great-great-grandfather moved to Edinburgh. 
and he opened a whiskey distillery. See where I'm going with this. And he was a bit of a rogue, apparently, and he liked to drink, of course. He was running a whiskey distillery. My grandfather used to tell stories to us of how one night him and all his siblings were hooked out of their beds and they weren't even allowed to take their teddy bears with them. And they escaped across the Irish Sea in little more than a rowing boat because somebody was after my grandfather. We never knew who, we never knew why, we never knew what was going on, but somebody was after my great-grandfather. So, a few years later, after hiding out in Dublin for a while, they came back across the Irish Sea. I don't know if it was in a rowing boat at that time, but they came back and they hid out in the deepest, darkest depths of Suffolk, in a wee village, in a little country lane, and they lived in a cottage that was in a little terrace of three houses, and they hid there until he died. But slowly over time, while he was living there, all the money that he had made disappeared. And nobody knew where it went. And I could have been quite wealthy at one time. But that's why I'm here now with you lot. <laughs> <laughs> the story goes that a few years later, after he died, somebody brought the, bought the three houses and wanted to knock them into one big house. And the builders, knocking down a wall, threw it into one of the houses, found piled from floor to ceiling, empty whiskey bottles. <laughs> That's where the money went. <laughs> so drinking is not always good. <coughs> and that's where I got my name. Champagne! Champagne! Hey. Champagne. <laughs> this little song that I'm going to sing for you now might give you a little insight into what happens to me when I've had a few wee swallies. <laughs> On yon bonny banks and on yon bonny breeze, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love spent many happy days. On the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond, for I'll take the high road. And you take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland of Hori, where me and my true love will ever meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Bonny banks and on your bonny breeze, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love spent many happy days on the bonny bonny banks of Loch Lomond. For I'll take the high road and you take the low road. The high road is my road, the low road's a slow road. I'll guarantee ya, I'll be there to see ya on the bonny bonny banks of Loch Lomond. For there with my honey, my bonny healing laddie, in his wee bitty kilt of Caledonian pladdie. He's my new love, my true love, my little sugar daddy. As we're leaping through the heather, together we cry. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland, a hoary and me and my true love and other friends as well. <laughs> Such as Dusty, Davy, Tommy and Nicky Prepare for a roll in the hay Naughty, naughty, on the bonny, bonny, bonny Banks of Loch Lomond 